Hi, my name is Jovan and today we'll be learning how to create 2.5D photos, also known as 3D photos, using a proposed AI called 3D Photography using content-aware layered depth in painting. This program was created by four talented researchers. I'll leave all the information to it in the description down below. The program can be used on any photo that you choose, no matter the quality, whether it's in black and white or from the olden days, if it's a drawing, if it's animated, this program is able to transform any photo that you have into a 2.5D 3D photo. The program is still under development, so sometimes you need to run it a few times as there might be issues and it might fail along the way. However, once it does work, it creates some really spectacular results. Now, you need to make sure that the photo that you're using is in JPEG format, not anything else, as the program only allows JPEGs. If you need to convert your photo, you can do this online or using Photoshop. Now, to begin, go to the 3D Photography Using Content Aware Layer Depth in Painting website and scroll down near the bottom to the link section where it says Demo. There are a few documents and links here. You can check out the GitHub code yourself. However, what I've found is the best way to use this program is to go through the demo that was created using the Google Collab Research webpage. When you click on the demo, it'll open up the Google Research Collab page, which kind of looks like a Google Doc if you're familiar with that. And you'll have to click copy to your drive. So you need to be signed in with a Google account for this. You need to do this so that you can actually use your own photos and not just run the demo. Now, once in the program, click go to the top right corner of your screen and press connect. This will connect you to a host that allows you to run this program. From here, each time that there's a bold section in text with a little play run icon down below, you're gonna have to execute each of those. So the first one you'll have to run is the prepare environment script. This takes a few minutes to complete. So you can turn on notifications and leave this running in the background by pressing the settings icon in the top right corner and ticking to enable notifications. To check the progress, you can see how the script is running or you can just go down to the bottom of the page where it says executing. If it still says executing, it will have a time next to it that says how long the program's been running for. And once it's finished, there'll be a green tick that signifies that that stage is done. Next, run the download script and pre-trained model code. And then once this is done, which will take a few minutes as well, run the off-screen rendering code. This one will only take a second, so don't worry that it finishes super quickly, nothing's gone wrong. Now you need to do is go to the folder icon on the left side of your screen, click on that, and where it says sample data, there'll be a little folder icon above that, which when you click on that, it takes you back to all the folders in the scene. Now, click on content and then 3D photo in painting and go down to where it says depth and images. Open these two folders by just clicking on them and it will create a drop down with everything that's inside them and delete anything that says moon. In the depth one, it should be two files and in the image one, it should be one. You need to delete these because these are from the demo run and if you don't delete them, it seems to only want to run the moon images instead of any images that you input yourself. Now, once you've done this, run the code that says to import a JPEG image it should come up with a little box saying choose file and you can click that and select your JPEG file or just drag it on from your desktop yourself and it will upload from zero to 100%. You can make sure that your photo has been uploaded by clicking on the images folder and seeing if your photo is there. If it's not there yet, but it says 100% finished, just click on the folder again to close the images and then click on it again and it should refresh to open up your image there. Finally, click run to execute the 3D photo in painting code and then wait about five to 10 minutes. I know it says two to three minutes, but in my experience, it takes between five and 10 minutes for this to load on average around like six or seven minutes. You can then just leave this running in the background and have the notification ping you once it's done. Once the code is finished running, you can see your results by clicking on the videos folder on the left side of your screen. And there should be four of the original moon photos here, which are from the previous demo, and then four new video files, which are labeled what your file was originally called with the type of effect that is on the end of it. So there'll be a dolly zoom in, a zoom, a swinging effect and a circling effect. To download these, you can just right click on each of these files and you can download them individually onto your computer. Now, if they seem to not be downloading, check on the top right of your browser that says that it's blocking your ability to download files. I had this a few times and it said that it was blocking it because I'm trying to download too many files at once. So you can just click on this, press allow, and then just download the files one by one and make sure they're finished downloading before you go on to the next one. But they should be pretty quick because they're only a few megabytes each. Sometimes there are a few issues with the actual output. There might be like a little bit of glitching or artifacts involved, but that mainly occurs when your character is really close to the scene. But even then, often at least one of the four videos that it creates are almost perfect. This process reduces the amount of time that it takes to create these 3D photos in traditional softwares like After Effects because it doesn't require you to cut anything out, replace the backgrounds and do any of the movements. It does it all by itself using the AI in about a 15 minute process, which is really, really quick. If you like this video and wanna see more, please consider liking and subscribing. I try to create four videos each month on something that I find new and interesting. Thanks for watching and see you next time.